Next, we are going to see is about Poiseuille's equation. Poiseuille analyzed the steady flow of liquid through the capillary tube. So, through the capillary tube, the steady flow of liquid has been analyzed. He derived the equation for the volume per second. Okay, so he derived the equation for volume volume per second. So, V by T through this capillary tube. Yes, he retained with this few conditions. So, what are the conditions? Is flow of the liquid is streamlined. Okay, flow of the liquid should be streamlined. Then tube is horizontal so that gravity do not influence the flow. So, tube should be horizontal. Then layer in contact with the wall of the tube is to be addressed. So, the layer of the liquid which is in contact with the tube should be at rest. The last one is pressure is uniform over the full cross sectional area. So, over full cross sectional area press, pressure should be uniform. So, these are the conditions which have been applied. First is the flow of liquid is streamlined. Next, the tube is horizontal. Next, the layer should be in contact with the wall. And the last one is pressure is uniform. Okay. Now, what we have to find is the volume per liquid per second okay and that is denoted by small v that is equal to capital v divided by t and it is said that it depends on three things okay first one is coefficient of viscosity eta next radius r pressure gradient okay so we are writing this v by t so capital v by t which is proportional to coefficient of viscosity eta then the radius, then P divided by L. So, how we will be writing this? This is to the power of X, this is to the power of Y, and this to the power of Z, is it not? So, same equation, we are going to write it here also. So, V, which is equal to eta power A, R power B, P by L power C. We can write either X, Y, Z or A, B, C. Here it is written as A, B, C, okay? Now, to remove this proportionality, we are introducing a constant which is k here. Okay. The next step is what? We are going to substitute all the dimensional formula for each and every term. Okay. So, if we substitute the dimensional formula here. So, for V, it is volume by time. So, L cube t power minus 1. Okay. Then, pressure by distance which is m L power minus 1 t power minus 2. Eta it is m L power minus 1 t power minus 1. R it is L. Okay, so substituting these values in here, we get L cube t power minus 1 which is equal to this term. Same way, this in this, we don't have the yum power. So, we are writing it as yum power 0 L cube t power minus 1. Yes, now come just multiply this inside. Okay, so we get yum power A, L power minus A and t power minus A. Next step. L power B and here same way if you multiply this inside we get M power C L power minus 2C and T power minus 2C okay next is writing the value of M alone so M is what A okay plus sorry here it should be A plus C okay it is written wrongly change it A plus C next is minus A plus b minus 2c okay then the last one is minus a minus 2c minus a minus 2c clear now when you compare the value of a on both the sides a plus c which is equal to 0 then l on both the sides so we get a minus a plus b minus 2c which is equal to 3 next minus a minus 2c which is equal to minus 1 clear so we get the equation as this okay so here we have to solve this equation now take with the first and the third equation so the first equation is a plus c is equal to 0 then the third equation is minus a minus 2c which is equal to minus 1 yes now plus a minus a get cancelled minus 2 plus 1 so which is minus c which is equal to minus 1 okay so cancelling the value of minus so we get c is equal to 1 so substitute the value of c is equal to 1 in the first equation first equation is a plus c which is equal to 0 c is equal to 1 okay so c is equal to 1 if you are substituting here 
a plus 1 which is equal to 0 and so we get a which is equal to minus 1. So we have got the value of a and c. Yes, substitute in the second equation. So second equation is minus a plus b minus 2c which is equal to 3. Yes, so minus of minus 1 so which is plus 1 plus b minus 2 into again c is 1 so which is equal to 3. Here we have minus 2 plus 1 which is minus 1 so b minus 1 which is equal to 3 okay and so b is equal to bringing this to the other side so we get 3 plus 1 so b is equal to 4 okay so this value of a b and c is being written here okay so substituting this value of a b c in the first equation so we get v which is equal to k into eta power minus 1 r power 4 p by l power 1 okay so how can you write this x power minus 1 is that can be written as 1 by x same way here we have the term eta power minus 1 so that can be written as 1 by eta okay so bringing this value of eta down and this k we are going to write it as pi by 8 so this gives a value for this terminal velocity clear so terminal velocity v is equal to pi r power 4 p divided by 8 eta l clear thank you